ELOA beta kicks off, Black Desert's official payment model is revealed, all that and more, I'm Zach Sharps, and this is Free to Play Weekly. First up in the news this week, those of you who enjoyed the free-to-play brawler Rise of Incarnates may need to get your tissues out. This week, Bandai Namco announced the brawler will be shutting down on December the 15th. After announcing the shutdown, Bandai has made the game's real money currency no longer purchasable, and if you wanted to hop in and give the game a try, all the characters are now free of charge. Personally, I only played the title for a few hours, and what I played of it had potential. However, potential doesn't make a game great, it's the execution along with that potential that does. Apparently, the people have spoken, Rise of Incarnates was not executed well, and because of that, it is now shutting down. Those of you with a lot of luck or a lot of determination might get a chance at Blizzard's new team-based shooter Overwatch very soon. How soon? Well, the presumed free-to-play shooter will be heading into beta starting October 27th, and for those of you with bad luck, you'll get your chance shortly after BlizzCon, which takes place November 6th through 7th. The game itself features many characters with a variety of unique abilities, a colorful art style, the ability to switch characters upon death, and from the looks of it, pretty fluid gameplay. So far I watched about 2 hours of Overwatch gameplay and from the looks of it, the game looks really really fun. That said, we still haven't had confirmation regarding the payment model, but considering Hearthstone and Heroes of the Storm have seen success under the free-to-play model, it's likely we'll see Overwatch try to continue the trend. Are you hyped for Overwatch? Leave a comment down below. Recently, WebZen came up in the news regarding Inspired Online and how that title was actually a private server based off of ELOA. Yeah, really. Inspirit's lifespan was greatly reduced after that finding, of course, and WebZen decided to let everyone into ELOA to give it a shot. Of course, this was a beta, and it's been going on for a bit now, but those of you who haven't checked it out probably should within the next few days because that is around when the beta servers will close. During the initial beta phase, WebZen states that players will have the opportunity to experience the core systems within the game, the triple battle stance system, and a whole lot more. ELOA is a game that seems pretty interesting, and if it means much, our own Magic Man liked Inspirit Online quite a bit. And since that game is an older version of ELOA, I'm sure the endorsement carries over. Many of you out there were hyped that Black Desert was coming to the West during early 2016. Most of us thought that the title would utilize the same free-to-play model it did in Korea. However, Dom Games has different plans. Black Desert will not be a free-to-play title in the West. Instead, the game will adopt a buy-to-play model and have a cash shop filled with vanity and convenience items. With the box price to be revealed at a later date, Dom stated game balancing and localization will also be slated to undergo various changes. In regards to the payment model switch, Dom stated the following, We're putting a lot of effort in the game's western localization. We are localizing approximately 2.5 million words into English, German, and French. Black Desert Online's content and gameplay systems will be adjusted to accommodate Western players and our differentiating business model. Unfortunately, that means coverage on MMO Bomb ends for this title, because we are a free-to-play website, of course. I'll still purchase the game, though. That said, I'm curious what you guys think, so it's time for the question of the week. Last week on the show, I asked, what do you think about Battlecry? A user by the name of Elfrealm stated the following. I think it's a bit too premature to call this segment of the market oversaturated. I believe we have this impression because of the MOBA boom that happens and still dragged on for a while, but this segment doesn't have that many titles in it. That leaves for a whole lot of room for someone else to maybe find the weaknesses of current titles and approve upon them, or even spawn different sub-segments of it, just like what happened when this one split from regular shooters. I'm anxious to see what these titles bring to the table. Thanks for your response, and as always guys, if you want your comment possibly featured in next week's episode, make sure to leave a comment down below. This week's question is, in regards to Black Desert Online, are you no longer on the hype train with this buy-to-play move? Why or why not? On Free to Play Cast, I detailed that I'll still buy the game, but I felt like this move was a little bit scummy, especially since the move was from free to play to buy to play, when normally games move in the opposite direction, like from pay to play to buy to play to free to play. A little backwards if you ask me. 
However, I'm wondering what you guys think and will be very curious to see the response. Love Marvel and ARPGs? Well, chances are you probably have played Marvel Heroes. If that's the case, you'll be glad to know that Gazillion has dropped some details regarding Marvel Heroes 2016. Coming this December, controller support will be implemented, leaderboards will be added, along with Steam achievements, various visual updates, a new Secret Invasion story chapter, a Mac release of the game, and a whole lot more. Gazillion has always been chucking content at this action RPG ever since the start of it, and personally I enjoyed the game quite a lot. However, that honeymoon didn't really last that long, and I'm not sure that Marvel 2016 will get me back into the title. That said, it sure does sound great for those still playing you know what is also great giveaways oh and also following us on social media that's great too that said guys this week was certainly a doozy especially with that black desert announcement as for myself though signing out until next week's free to play weekly i'm zach sharps and i'll catch you guys next time